Yeah, Moolah, man. How you doing today, brother? I'm all right. I'm all right. That's what's up, man. You know, that's the this this season two of the interviews with DME TV, and you the first one to get yours done, man. No doubt, no doubt. How you feeling about that? Feeling real good, man. I like to bring in shit now. I mean, I like to bring it in the right way. So I know that shit, that's right. a fact. So we got the name Young Moolah, man. Let's let's get into how you got that name. Oh shit. I mean, you know, growing up in the country, growing up where I'm from. Man, you have a fucking list of names, you know what I mean? So, it started off as Muzz Bula, and, uh, well, nah, it started off as Muzz, and, um, I started fucking with this cat, Jay Zo, you know what I mean? My right hand man, and he rapped, and he the one who got me into it heavy, and he seen my rap style. I used to always rap about getting money. Yeah. So, that nigga was like, Muzz Mula. Shit, after that, we kind of cut the muzz off, know what I mean? And just went to moolah. Facts, facts, facts. So, how long how, how long have you been in the music game? <sighs> Shit, I've been doing music probably since like 7th grade. Started off with my cousin, Va. You know how we do it in the fucking closet with the mic yeah. and all the little bullshit equipment, you know what I mean? And I, I just started doing it like that. Started being big in poetry and shit, you know. And uh, one day... I wrote this poem for the class, and this chick was like, which I didn't even take rap serious. I just used to do it. Yeah. This chick was like, the only reason you won is because you do music. I'm just like, damn, I don't do music, really, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, but yeah. she gave me that hint, like, maybe I need to start fucking with it. And that's when that 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 real lyrical shit was in back in the day. Yeah. And um, I started fucking with the cat, Jay Zo, you know what I mean? My, my homie, Jay Zo, my main man. And... That nigga was raw as fuck, know what I mean? Like, that nigga was the rawest in the motherfucking city. Yeah. And he heard me rap one day. I rapped for him. Well, was rapping with him. And he was like, nigga, you need to get serious with this shit, dig? So, after that, shit, I got introduced to that real studio. And ever since then, I, I probably started taking it serious like 10th grade. 10th grade. 10th grade. What year was that? Probably like 2008. 2008. 2008. Facts, facts, yeah. facts. So with the you know like a lot of rappers they 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 got the home studio set up with the with the mic in the closet and all that shit. How was the feeling when you went into a real studio compared to that the home studio? I felt at fucking home like yeah. I I was just thanking God because it was like damn like I just that was my dream mm -hmm. like to get in a real fucking studio man. And once I touched that motherfucking mic, yeah, it was a rap like I ain't turned back since. I was hooked. I was hooked. What's the, you remember the name of your first song that you ever made? Oh, God damn. Taking me back. Uh, I, I, I like to ask that question because, you know, like a lot of cats, they make so much music and they kind of forget. Yeah, it, it was. Start, you know what I mean? It was probably, I don't remember the name, but the one that I fucked a lot of niggas up with was, um. When I rapped off that uh, young chalk is going down, like that's when niggas used yeah. to just rap off instrumentals. Like we yeah, ain't really yeah. bought no beats and shit. We stole them motherfuckers now. I, I mean, got you. I got you. and uh, it was that young jock is going down. Meet me in the trap, shit. Know what I mean, yeah. Murder. So how, how how was the response when when people started hearing you really rap compared to you thinking you rap? You know what I mean? Niggas was like, you rap, cause you know, I was just known for sports. Yeah, yeah. And girls, know what I mean? Like, that was it, know what I mean? Like, that's all I really lived my life on was sports and, and chicks. So when niggas heard me rap, I really didn't have that persona as a rapper. So when I came how I came, yeah. I mean, I remember in, like, 10th grade, and uh, I was on lunch fucking with the seniors. And the seniors at the time, uh, like, um, Amal Walker, goddamn Sakima Bonds, a couple of niggas who used to rap. We had a cypher mm -hmm. at the table, at the lunch table, you know what I mean? Passing that bitch around like a blunt, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I was at the table. So, you know, I didn't even plan on rapping, but when the nigga who was sitting beside me, which was Jay Zo, and, and, and he done, he looked at me, and I just went the fuck in, and them niggas yeah. was like, uh. damn, <laughs> young boy go in, you know what I mean? That's so, yeah, mean. yeah, nigga, man, niggas fuck with it. That's what's up, that's what's up. So right now, man, it's, it's 2017. We about to no end doubt. the year with a bang. No doubt. What type of projects you got coming up? Like, like where you see yourself direction-wise headed next year? Um, I got a project called Old School Vibes, you know what I mean? And um, 
is is it's more of a mixtape, um, just to let niggas know how the fuck I'm coming. Yeah. Um, yeah. real soulful type shit. Know what I mean? And uh, I'll be dropping a single later on next year, maybe around springtime with uh, Sean V. Yeah. You know, dope ass single. And um, uh, yeah, man, yeah, man, real soulful fucking That's vibes, man. Up. That's what's up. Let the fans know exactly where you're from, man. From North Santee, uh, a little hood in Joystown County, a little hole in the wall spot, but that's where the love started, you know what I mean? That's where the love definitely started. So, you know, South Carolina, nigga for sure. Yeah. Hell yeah, that's what's up. So, goddamn, being an artist, who kind of, who, besides from your homeboy, like, who really inspires you to get into this music shit? Like, who was the first rapper that you heard to make you want to, like, Pick that pen up and, and hit that pad, bro. J motherfucker Z. Jay Z. 